Hey guys, I have something really cool to show you today. It's an easy do-it-yourself magnetic eyeshadow palette. Um, if you like to buy individual eyeshadows, then this is perfect for you. Um, I purchased a few of the Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which is a new line that Marlena and her staff created. Um, Makeup Geek here on YouTube. And um, when I got them, I was really, really excited and I love the colors. But I wanted something to put them in where they could be um, just safe and um, travel friendly. So what I did was um, I tried to make my own eyeshadow palette with some of the suggestions on YouTube and on the web, but I didn't find any of them that easy um, or that neat or that affordable. Um, so this one is actually really easy and really affordable and um, you should be able to find the supplies pretty easily. So let me show you what I've done. Um, this is my palette and these are the eyeshadows. I have three eyeshadows in here and um, this is an empty slot right here and I'm going to show you guys um, what I do to make this palette magnetic. Um, this is actually an e.l.f. empty eyeshadow palette that was one dollar at Target. One dollar. Um, it's called the e.l.f. Custom Compact and it looks, it comes in a box that looks like this and I, I've seen them on the internet, I think in black, but mine is white. And um, yeah, it was a dollar. So it says, you know, place the magnetic pan into the compact and create your look instantly. So I guess the deal is that e.l.f., this is called step one, select your compact. I guess you're supposed to select a compact. And then step two is to buy e.l.f. eyeshadows, which have magnetic pans. I didn't buy e.l.f. My eyeshadows. So my, the pans themselves on the eyeshadows I have are not magnetic, but they will stick to a magnet. Um, so this is just a metal backing here. So a magnet will stick to it, but this itself is not magnetic. So what I've done is, I went to Michael's. Um, on the suggestion of others when I was trying to use another method to create an eyeshadow palette, um, I bought some magnetic tape. This was $5.99 at the craft store of Michael's. Um, so the two supplies you need are just the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, which is available, um, should be available at eyeslipsface.com or you can go to your Target. I don't even have a well-stocked Target and mine had it, so hopefully you find it with no problem. I had to look a little bit, but it's easier if you know what the box looks like. So this is what the box looks like. Um, but this is the magnetic tape I have. It's half inch by 25 feet. So it's a half inch wide. Um, and I found that to be perfect for this. So I'm going to show you right now. Um, this is the packaging that my Makeup Peak eyeshadows came in. So I'm going to take it out. And it's in this little sleeve. And when you open it up, I'm not going to tip it all the way for because I don't want it to fall out. But the eyeshadow pan is just um, sitting right there on the cardboard. So what I'm going to do is snip a small amount off of the roll. Um, just wide enough to fit within the circle of the eyeshadow pan. So, like not even an inch long. I'm just going to snip this. Probably about a little over a half inch long. Um, so this is magnetic tape. So this actually has, um, it's adhesive. When you peel off this little piece of paper, the magnet just has like a little bit of sorry. Um, the magnet just has a little bit of glue on it. So I'm going to open the compact and I'm going to place the adhesive side, the sticky side, onto the metal. And since this was on a roll, um, when you cut the paper, it might, it might be like a little bit curved because see how it's like sitting like this and you want it to sit like that so that it sticks really well to the metal. So I just take it and I'm just pressing the corners down. I'm pressing the whole thing down but focus especially on the corners. And just make sure it's lying flat so it's all sticking as much of the perimeter as possible is sticking to the metal. And it's on there pretty well. And as you can see, my eyeshadows, they don't shake. 
they're not moving around at all. They're well stuck um, to the magnet. So I'm going to take my Makeup Peak eyeshadow, and this sh this should work for MAC eyeshadows too if, if you're into those. Um, I'm just going to pop it in and it just stuck to the magnet and they don't fall out and it's really exciting. So yeah, I don't know what more you could ask for for one dollar. You get space for four eyeshadows. Um, it's easily made into a magnetic palette or if you're, if you want to try out the e.l.f. shadows, um, then you won't even have to do the stuff with the magnetic tape. The e.l.f. shadow pans are magnetic apparently. Um, and it even comes with a little applicator. I took mine out because I don't really think I'll be using it. But one end is a little brush tip and one is like a sponge tip. And this can go right in the middle. It came with a palette. And it comes with a nice size mirror. So I don't know what more you could ask for. This is super easy and I'm really excited. I thought about getting a uni palette. I thought about getting a Z palette. I don't know about you. It's Christmas time. I had a bunch of gifts to buy and I'm kind of broke. And I don't really, I'd rather be spending money on actual eyeshadows than a palette right now. This feels really secure. Like if you don't want to buy the magnetic tape or you can't find it, although you should be able to find it um, at a craft store or online. Um, my brand is Pro Mag. <laughs> but you know, um, I actually at first had just popped the eyeshadows in and um, they'll jiggle around a little bit but if you're just keeping it you know at your vanity or wherever you do your makeup they really shouldn't get damaged but if you're going to be traveling with it or you do videos and you want to be able to hold it up like this um, then you can go ahead and do the magnets but um, this is great like I love ELF for this if, if for nothing else I absolutely love ELF for this um, I actually just bought four of them because I was like because I discontinue it whatever I have enough for like um, 16 shadows now with four of these compacts and I might go back and get even more just in case because um, I just love easy um, affordable things like this and so I'm really excited so I hope you guys find it useful and um, in case you're curious um, about the colors I have just because we've been staring at them for the whole video um, this is vanilla bean this is latte okay vanilla bean latte mocha and corrupt. So this is like um just like a this is like sort of a nude color. These are all pretty much matte. So this is like a nudish color. This is um a medium brown. I wanted this to be about um my shade. And this is a deeper brown and this is a really black black called corrupt. It's such a good black. It's amazing. Um so just in case you were curious, I know like I try to follow um Marlena's tips and she always recommends like this I'm going to use as my highlight which um, you know this is what I'm going to use as my highlight and then this is about my skin color for blending purposes and this is my um, deep brown which every girl should have a deep brown shadow if you're into eyeshadows and this is my black so um, yeah you can check out the Makeup Geek eyeshadows um, but this will also work with the elf eyeshadows, this will work with MAC. Anything that's like the standard size, I think that this method would work. Um, and also, not all eyeshadow pans, I've heard, are magnetic. So, um, the, these pans are metal that stick to the magnet. So, um, not all of them will stick. Oh, and guys, I almost forgot to mention, um, the Makeup Peak eyeshadows are labeled right on the pan, which is really good. So if you ever forget the color, um, like you run out or you're doing a tutorial and you want to mention the color and you can't remember what it was called, these easily pop out. There's like this little indentation. Um, it probably won't pick up, but there's a little indentation um, in the palette itself. So I'm just going to pop it out with my finger. And there's a label. So it says mocha. So that's really convenient. You don't even have to label these or remember what the color is called. It's right there on the bottom of the pan. And I'm just going to stick it back on my magnet. And that's it. So really cool, really convenient, really easy, and inexpensive. So, I mean, the tape was 
six dollars but i'll probably never have to buy one again because it's 25 feet worth <laughs> and yeah a dollar for these so under ten dollars and now i have more than enough supplies for um 16 eyeshadows so if i want to get more than that i just have to pay a dollar for each palette and i don't think i'll be running out of this anytime soon <laughs> i hope you enjoy um check target for it if you're interested check target for the palette um and you can buy this magnetic tape if you can't find it then you can also buy magnetic sheets um just something pretty thin because the thing is that um this had enough room like these will come slightly above like the level of this palette but before they were sort of sunken in a little bit so I had room and it still closes perfectly and it doesn't um, get on the mirror or anything like there's enough room for these to close even with the magnet in there so you want sort of a thin magnet like this um, this is probably like a centimeter wide so yeah I hope you guys enjoy I hope you like this I hope it was helpful um, let me know if you tried it out or if you have any more tips and thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.